Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be qualifying the Can-Am proxy cars for the 2024 season. There is, I believe, 24 entries this year, and this is the this is the second race. Um, the first race was in Vancouver. This is the second race held here in mid BC in Kelowna, British Columbia. I'm going to be qualifying the cars, which will determine the race order. So I'm going to do a quick 12 lap qualifying session, which is about a minute and a half per car. And um, that will determine the race order. And um, I'm going to be qualifying the cars in reverse order of the overall standings. So from the slowest car to the fastest car. And I'm going to try to introduce each car as well. Just a quick little snippet as to any information I see online for the car. And um, I have the car track all rubbered in. It's a 21 by 13 foot wide table. The lane length is 90 feet. We're going to be qualifying in middle lane. And um, the track's all rubbered in. I did notice there's two Ferraris in this group that are really wide. They're at least a quarter inch wider than a Thunderslot or most other cars. And they're almost the same width as a fly truck. So I actually did a whole bunch of laps with a fly truck um, just to make sure that the two Ferraris that are really wide, they're not in any fresh track. They're actually in a rubbered in track, just to be fair. And uh, that's it. Let's get started. The first car is car 47 flyby wire. I'll be cleaning the tires with uh, sticky tape before each session. I'm going to also do a couple lap practice and then do the actual official 12 lap qualifying just to get used to the car. Okay, so the first car is car 47 and the builder is flyby wire who I believe is out of the US. Um, it's a Thunderslot McLaren. I don't see any other information online for this car, but it looks like pretty much a stock Thunderslot. Thunderslot pod. I can't tell if that's a Thunderslot motor or an NSR motor, but uh, here we go. I'll be trying to go through a lot of tape just that way I know for sure everybody has a fresh fresh tape on their tires as I'm cleaning the tires. Like I said, I'm going to do a couple lap practice. But one thing I wanted to mention too is the controller I'm using. I know there's questions about that. I'm using a controller from Czechia actually and uh, this controller was made by Yuri who's in the um, GT3 proxy and actually his name's on the circuit board I see there. Yuri Milic So yeah, it's got um, uh, brake sensitivity knobs, um, sensitivity, choke, and a relay on-off switch. Really nice controller. I'm going to be texting him or emailing him pretty soon just to, I want to um, upgrade all my controllers to this. It's just awesome. Oh, and um, it's got like a heat sink here with a fan and a digital display as to what... Uh, voltage is um, running to the controller. This neat little U-shaped hook that just hooks onto the edge of the track. I've been using Professor motor controllers but this definitely is a step up.
acceleration, I can feel that it's a little bit loose. Okay, good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, a little bit loose. like I say, a good speed acceleration. Okay, a little loose like I said and as you noticed. So car number 47 with the fastest time of 7.127. I'm going to leave the leaderboard on there but a lot of people may not be able to see it very clear so I'm going to bring up the race results every once in a while. Car 74, CJ 74. Bring him up here. Okay, we got Corey Jett. He's out of the USA as well. Car 74, and he's running a McLaren Thunderslot. And um, it's a Thunderslot. Uh, chassis stock chassis with a it's got a predator motor it's a 25k predator motor uh, 10 tooth pinion 31 tooth spur slot at g25 tires on the back okay good luck I believe Corey Jett's out of Michigan. It feels nice. That yeah, feels really nice. Sure, why this car finished second last in the first race? Haven't kept up with the history on these cars. Okay, good luck. Well, I should say I'm running at 11 volts.
feels like it's getting a little looser as I go. Definitely looser. Huh. Definitely feels loose. Oh, that's why. Huh. There's a little ball on the tire there. Any other ones? Some little balls right there. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe that explains why. It didn't do as well. Let me just clean the tires with sticky tape here just to see it comes off. And I, uh, a few little balls here and there. Hmm. Okay, so CJ74 6.921. Felt really awesome in the beginning, that's for sure. Next up we have ALS. He's out of St. Louis in the USA. He's got a car 66 here. There is no information online as to what's in this car, but looks like a Predator motor, just like CJ74's. And, um, yeah, it's all a, it's a beautiful brass chassis. Really nice. Otherwise, I don't have any other information. Yeah, I can't Where's tell what type of car, uh, what type of tires they are either. Beautiful body. Feels pretty solid too. Good luck. Bye. Four, three, two, one, go. Nice car. really well. Contraction and speed. Well, speed could be a little bit higher. It's a good car. car 6.976 for ALS good job next we have Aloha deals from Hawaii in the United States 
We got car number 97. I like that number. It's one of my favorite numbers. Car 97. Just find them here online. I don't see any history on this car. Okay, so so we have a Thunderslot McLaren Elva. And looks pretty much stock except for the motor. I'm not sure what type of motor that is, but it's got a huge cutout window. No idea what that is. And the tires, am I able to tell what type of tire these are? Well, they're Thunder Slot tires. Yep, they're Thunder Slot tires. Okay, good luck. Deal came in second in last year's GT3 proxy. And he's had numerous other good results in other proxies. So usually he has a really good car. two cars under seven seconds right now that's a pretty good sign if your car's under seven seconds it's gonna be pretty good five four three two one go corners it likes brake turn a little bit looser yeah definitely brake turn it's a little looser in the s's there car like I said um, left hand turns it's uh, you can go pretty aggressive into the corner but right hand turns it was a little loose okay car 97 Aloha 7.159 seconds Okay, so up next, we have a Ferrari, car 22. Just bring it up here. I think this is a 3D, uh, 3D car, car 22. Okay, here we go. It's a Furry 612, car 22. And uh, Ken K is the builder. I think he's new to proxy racing. And um, this is a Furry 612. 
3D chassis, or sorry, 3D printed body, and then it's a brass chassis with a slotted pod. Looks pretty nice. Um, it's running a 29K slotted motor. In a sidewinder configuration, and he's running uh, NSR super grips on the back. One thing I noticed with these is um, they're wide. So, um, in comparison to a fly truck, you can see it's uh, almost as wide as a fly truck. Um, the Thunder Slots and all the other cars are quite a bit narrower than these cars, so I rubbered in the track with a fly truck just to make up for the wide path. Get some fresh tape. That beautiful chassis with the Slot it pod. Feels pretty smooth. was sliding a little bit so traction's a little bit down I suspect. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Acceleration. Smooth. A little bit loose. Yeah, it's pretty steady, just um, it's a little bit loose. So that probably explains the time being down a little bit. 7.257 for Mike K. Car Zero VTEC 4. Okay, VTEC for Dan, he's out of um, Canada, um, he's out of Vancouver and Winnipeg from what I recall, two different cities, and this is another Ferrari, just like uh, Mike's car, and this is a Ferrari 612, it's a, actually that's a resin car, okay, maybe the other car was a resin as well. Okay, probably is resin. Um, 
So what we have here is a brass chassis as well. And um, the other Ferrari had a slotted pod. This one has a custom pod, it looks like. Okay, here in the notes it says it's his own 3D printed uh, pod mm -hmm. using PLA filament. And um, he's using a FF050 slimline motor. It's a 35K motor. 8 tooth uh, pinion, 30 tooth spur gear. And he's running, um, looks like NSR super grips on the back. Pretty wide tires as well. Inline configuration. Okay, good luck. glued down as some of the other cars such as ALS's was pretty glued down. Here we go, good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. A little quicker than the other Ferrari by Mike. Maybe a little more grip too. Sir, and it's a snappy car. Okay, so fastest time is 7.091 for uh, VTEC 4. Okay, next, got car number nine, Super Slab. Super slab. Elwin, he's running this proxy actually, and he's out of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, and he has a, he's done a clever job here it looks like, he's running a fly body, it's a fly um, Porsche 908, and yeah, beautiful body, just like all the other fly cars, and he very cleverly installed a thunder slot chassis underneath of it. Looks really good. And what Alwyn's running, actually I don't have any, for, any information for it here. Okay, so he's got a he's got a Predator 40k slim can 050 motor in a Sidewinder configuration. Very nice. Looks like it fits pretty good. There we go. Yeah, I love it when 
some people do little things like this. It's definitely a lot of work to fit a chassis underneath a different body. A quick car. Feels pretty good. Narrow tires in the back, I think just 10 mil wide hubs. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, super slab. That one, it was um, a little bit loose. 7.277 seconds. Weston's Garage, car 55. He's running an MR slot shadow. And um, information I have here is it looks like it's pretty much a stock chassis, MR slot car chassis with a Predator motor. And um, running 11 tooth pinion, 34 tooth uh, spur gear. It's running MR slot air hubs with uh, rear tires are NSR um, tires, super grips. Looks good. Never driven one of these actually, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, good luck. Weston's Garage is also out of Vancouver, just like uh, Alwyn, British Columbia. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Good. 
speed acceleration. A little bit loose. Eight seconds. A um, little bit loose. You can't attack a corner as hard as one might want to. So 7.368 seconds. Let's uh, bring up the race results just in case you guys can't see. Those numbers. So yeah, CJ74 is still in front. 6.921 and 66 ALS, 6.976 seconds. Um, and all the rest are above 7.0 seconds. Up next we got a Porsche 908 and NSR. This is car number 21. Okay, and this is Double B. He's out of the United States as well with car 21 here. And looks like a custom livery to me. Yeah, those look like decals to me. So, yeah, great job on this custom livery. Um, so we have an, it's an NSR, and the motor he's running is FK 050 23K motor. It says, "Is it okay? It's a slot it motor. Okay, it's a slot at 23K motor with a 12 tooth pinion and a 20 35 tooth spur." Rear wheels are NSR, rear tires are NSR. Sidewinder configuration. See a bit of lead on the front of the motor there. Looks like around 11 mil wide tires on there, I'd say. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Very smooth. Yeah, nice car. It's very smooth, predictable. Um, it does have a little less grip than some of the other cars. 7.203 for double B. Okay, Pepsi 62 is next. And we have a Thunder Slot McLaren here. Okay, here we go. Pepsi 62. He's out of Australia, and um, the notes I see here is it's an all-stock Thunder Slot McLaren with Thunder Slot um, TY06 R rear tires. So we got a Thunder Slot motor, and uh, yeah, pretty much stock Sidewinder. Tires look like a very white. I'm not sure why. I've never seen tires that look like that. Very white compared to what the other cars look like. Huh. Oh, well, we'll see. A little unusual. Now I get some fresh tape out. CJ74 still leading, and he was the second car to run today. ALS was the third car to run. Yeah, they still look a little white to me. Or gray, you could say. Lots of brakes on this car. Okay. Yeah, some debris coming off. I usually clean the tires till there's no debris. If it takes two swipes or 20 swipes, I'm going to make sure there's no debris. Five, four, Three, two, one, go. Very 
very smooth and quiet. Mm. Tons of brakes on this car. I almost have my brakes turned right off. Traction's pretty decent. Okay, 7.208 for Pepsi 62. Next, we have Thunderjet. This is car 83. Go down here, 83, okay, it's a Lola T70 Thunderslot from Thunderjet, I'm not sure where Thunderjet's located, and underneath here it looks like a all stock Thunderslot car. Stock Mach 21 motor, thunder slot, a little bit of weight underneath the axle I see there. I see a bunch of balls on the edge of the tire there. I'll try to clean that up. Looks like thunder slot hubs. What type of tires are these? I can't tell. Okay, car 83, good luck. Race stop in 20 seconds. Oh, I see what's happening there. The, uh, Let's see a bunch of rubber on the edge of the tire here and that's lined up with the uh, motor shaft you can see here it's lined up with the motor shaft so the motor shaft as the wire tire expands under acceleration the motor shaft is touching the tire in that spot just right here on the inside you can see the line of rubber yeah it's Quite noticeable. It's lined up with the rubber, with the uh, shaft, I should say. That's a smooth car. Traction. That car's gonna be a nice car, I think. There we go. Good luck, Thunderjet. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. 
nice car. This car has lots of brakes too. I got them turned almost all the way off too. Feels nice. Could use maybe a little more speed. 7.005 for Thunderjet. Car number four. Big Doug. Okay. Okay, we have another Thunderslot McLaren here. And Big Doug, I believe, is out of Tennessee in the United States. There we go. Car number four. So we have a Thunder Slot chassis, Thunder Slot pod. Um, I don't have any other information. I see a bit of weight here. I'm not sure if that's an NSR motor or a Thunder Slot motor. Sidewinder, really long guide flag. Good luck. Big Doug won the Trans Am proxy a year ago or two years ago, whatever it was, for the over five liter. So my car had a Pretty good battle with his right up to the Red end. Red stop in 20 seconds. previous car, Thunderjlat had this speed, that would have been nice. Would have got a little better times. I'm pretty anal with making sure tires are clean. Okay, good luck.
Okay, nice car. The only thing I could say is maybe it's a little bit loose, but otherwise it's very smooth, it's quick, good acceleration. Really nice car. Car 4, 6.941 seconds. Okay, we've got an NSR coming up next. So we have three cars under 7 seconds right now. CJ74, Big Doug, and ALS. Thunderjet came really close at 7.005. Okay, car 44. Car 44, there we go. Car 44, that's 73 EMG. Bob's out of, I know it's the Eastern United States. Not sure where. I was gonna say. I better not say where. <laughs> but yeah, he's out of the eastern United States. Car forty-four, um, with a NSR Porsche nine seventeen ten. And what we have under here is a custom chassis. It's a custom scratch-built styrene chassis. It says here. And the pod is an MR slot car pod. And the motor is an FK050 35K slim can motor with a 7 tooth pinion and a 29 tooth spur gear. And he's running Thunder slot tires on the rear. Really nice. Let's see what Bob does with his creation. Bob's got a beautiful Watkins Glen replica slot car track. If you haven't seen it, I recommend doing a search on the web and you'll find it. It's beautiful. car but I don't think it's any different from a thunder slot. Let's take a look here. I think it's a little bit wider, maybe an eighth of an inch wider than a thunder slot. But yeah not or maybe three sixteenths of an inch narrower than a Ferrari. So the Thunder Slots are the narrow cars in this series. Here we go. Good luck, Bob. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Thank you. 
Oh, a bit of a wiggle there at the end. Okay, good job, Bob. 7.058 seconds. Good enough for, looks like fifth right now. Very clever chassis. Very clever. Great job. This is another custom livery too, I believe. I think it is. Stevie W. Car 30. It's a Lola T70 and I don't see any other information here. Okay, so this is a Thunderslot uh, chassis, Thunderslot pod, bit of weight in front of the Sidewinder motor and I am not sure what that motor is actually. I'm sure everyone out there knows what it is, but I do not. It's got the large cutout. But otherwise it looks like a standard thunder slot. Okay, CVW. He's out of, Steve's out of California in the United States. Okay, good luck, Steve. Five, four, three, two, one, go. trying to really push it. Or sorry, 6.864 for Stevie W. He's sitting in first. Nice car. Really nice car. Nice and smooth. Good acceleration. I'll bring up that uh, race result screen. <clears throat> there you go. DVW in first. We have four cars now under seven seconds. Okay, we got a thunder slot here. Car number. 
number seven. Courtney. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't see any information on his car either here, but let's give it a go here. So custom livery. Interesting. He went with a that's not a thun, that's not a McLaren motor. It's a uh, looks like a Porsche motor actually. Must be a little lighter. That's why he cosmetically changed the motor out. It's got a Lexan interior. I think that's the first thunder slot with the Lexan interior. Very clever. That's clever with the Porsche motor. Underneath we have a thunder slot chassis. Pod that's going to be either an NSR or Thunder Slot motor. Looks like we have maybe Thunder Slot hubs, I'm not sure. Around 10 mil wide, very narrow front wheels with a long guide. Looks good. Courtney's very serious. Okay, good luck. Car number seven. almost thought it was F1 fan's car. And I saw the number seven. Maybe that'll give Courtney good luck this year. Or maybe bad luck. Okay, here we go. brakes on this car. Good luck, Courtney. Five, Courtney's four, out of, three, I believe, Tennessee two, in the United States. One. I should not. Go. Very smooth. Speed might be down a little bit. Traction's a little bit down. Yeah, definitely down for some reason. Okay, um, just a little bit loose. It's smooth. Hmm. Okay, Courtney, 7.206 seconds. Redliner. Out of Detroit. The United States. Car number two. Car number two. Here we go. Redliner. 
Okay, Thunder Slot Lola. Corner number two. Red liner. Looks like a Thunder Slot uh, chassis and pod. And that looks like a slot at 20, yeah, 23k motor with a um, 11 tooth pinion, 32 tooth spur, CB design hubs in the rear, 10 mil wide with uh, super grips. The black. Redliners have a lot of proxies, successful in many of them. Quite a bit of breaking with this car too. there when I tried to push it on the S's. Great acceleration at this car, I love it. Okay, 7.00 seconds for Redliner. So close, so close to under 7 seconds. He's sitting in 6th right now. Nice car. That was a fun car to drive. Okay, here we go. Car 111, Peter Gunn. Bring it up here. Okay, Peter Gunn, out of the UK. Um, custom livery, really looks good. Great job on that livery. Oh, and I love the staff hubs, the red staff hubs, maroon colored, really nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not sure if you painted the motor too red, but that's that's awesome. Great detail. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so what do we have here under the hood? So yeah, just like the, all, most of the other Thunder Slots, it's a Thunder Slot uh, chassis, and this is the hard chassis actually, and we got the Thunder Slot pod there, sidewinder configuration, with a 25k Piranha, uh, the ball bearing motor, uh, gearing is 11 by 34, NSR rear tires, ultra grips, and uh, like I said, staff hubs, really nice. Let's 
I haven't tried staff hubs and I have several different pairs here I just never had the time to test them out maybe when I retire in 10 years from now again. Car. Almost instantaneous acceleration. Accelerations like instantaneous, so you got to be a little bit careful coming out of a corner. You don't punch it too hard. Great job, Peter. Six point nine six zero seconds. Awesome. So Peter Gunn's sitting in fourth place right now. I'll bring up the race results screen here. Or Starfighter Ace comes up. Uh, race results right there. So you can see Stevie W's at the top. CJ74, Big Doug, Peter Gunn, ALS, and so on down the list. Up to Weston's Garage. Super slab at the bottom. Okay, car 17, Starfighter Ace. There we go, Starfighter Ace, McLaren Elva. Thunder slot. And I think that's a custom livery too, isn't it? Looks like it to me. Yeah, great job. Beautiful, beautiful purple livery. Crisp decals. I know Mark makes his own decals and such, so owns his own shop, hobby shop. Great job with the modeling, Mark. Awesome. So we have a Thunderslot Elva and looks like a stock Thunderslot uh, chassis and pod along with um, 
It's running an NSR 25K Evo motor. 11 tooth pinion, 32 tooth spur, thunder slot rear wheels with thunder slot uh, 049, or sorry, 04R rear tires. And um, yeah, looks good. Feels light too. Fresh tape out. CBW's in first place. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Very quite smooth. Nice car. Nice car, Mark. Really nice. 6.823 seconds. So he takes over first place in the qualifying here. Great job. Six cars under seven seconds. Next, we have modern slots. Car 11. Let me pause this first. Okay, car 11, modern slots, Rob out of North Carolina. That's car 11. Oh, how come I don't see him on here? Strange. Must not be in order. Oh, there it is, car 11. Okay, in modern slots, he's been successful in numerous proxies the last few years. And actually, maybe that's a 71. Oh, it's a 71. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, he extended the 1 into a 7. Just looked like a, a 1 there. So, okay, have to be careful of that. Okay, we have a Thunderslot uh, McLaren with a Thunderslot chassis. It's got the stiff chassis on this one, uh, thunder slot, uh, sidewinder pod, sidewinder format, 
is running 12 tooth uh, pinion with 34 tooth spur 25k nsr motor it's probably the evo motor i'm thinking and nsr super grip rear tires with nsr um 10 mil wide rear wheels okay good luck The North Carolina group, they have numerous tracks and beautiful tracks as well. Large tracks as well. This is going to be a nice start too. Okay, good luck, Rob. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Really quick, smooth. Really nice. That's a really nice car. It felt like the grip was getting better and better as I was going on too. Nice. 6.841 for modern slots. He's sitting in uh, second place, right behind Starfighter Ace. Brumos RSR, car 33. There we go. Car 33. And we have a silver Thunder Slot McLaren here, custom livery, red stripe down the middle. And uh, we have a lot of instructions under here. Okay, so um, we have a Thunderslot uh, standard chassis here. We have a Thunderslot pod. Um, a Piranha. It's got a Piranha. 25k motor in here okay that's probably the ball bearing piranha motor 11 tooth pinion 33 tooth spur um, NSR rear hubs 10 mil wide with NSR super grips on the back okay looks good give it a shot This car would have finished fifth place in the previous race, race number one.
Very quick and smooth. Feels similar to Rob's modern slots car that I just drove. Actually, something else I've noticed here. <laughs> just, just realized it now. You see, you know, talking about Courtney's car with all the changes he made with the motor and stuff. He took out the motor out of the back. You'll see there's this detail right here. He took the motor out the back to lighten the load it looks like. Very clever. Very clever. Just realized now after looking at uh, Courtney's car. Or not Courtney's, Brumos's car. Okay, good luck. Bye. Four, three, two, one, go. It's a good car. Very fast. Very quick, smooth, decent traction. Wow. Oh, look at that. 6.656 seconds. That's extremely quick for a Can-Am car here. Really fast. Wow. Great job. I think that's pretty close to the top qualifying time from last, last season. Really nice. Tony Sirius. Audi one. Speaking of serious. Car twenty nine. Looks like a custom livery here too. Let's bring them up here. There we go. Yeah, custom livery. McLaren. Thunderslot McLaren. Really nice job. Really nice detail work. Awesome. Okay. We have a Thunderslot uh, standard chassis. Thunderslot uh, hard pod. Sidewinder. And it's a, oh, he's got a slot at 29K motor in this. Okay. Slot at 29K motor with um, 10 tooth pinion and 29 tooth, or sorry, 10 tooth pinion and 34 tooth spur. Rear, t rear wheels are CB design with uh or their 11 mil white CB design with thunder slot rear tires. Okay, good luck. Alan's been in numerous proxies all these years and been successful at a lot of them. Very consistent too. Just like Courtney, Rumos, Modern Slots, CBW. Fast. 
speed-wise, it's very fast. Yeah, very fast. Let's see how the traction is. so far. to concentrate a little more with this car just because it's so quick uh, 6.729 seconds great car Audi ones in second place now I'll bring up the race results screen here just in case you can't see that leaderboard very well results. Here we go. Brumos RSR first. Audi 1. Starfighter Ace. Modern Slot. Stevie W. CJ74. Big Doug. Peter Gunn and ALS all under 7 seconds. Very close to 7 is Thunderjet and Redliner. And then behind them you have 73MG, VTEC 4, Fly by Wire, Aloha, Double B, Courtney, Pepsi 62, Mike K, Super Slab, and Weston's Garage. Okay, GS no point out of the United States. I should have mentioned that uh, Audi one, he's out of the United States as well on the East Coast. And Brumos is out of St. Louis in the United States as well. A lot of Americans in this proxy. Okay, we got car number five, GS no point. Bring them up here. Okay, here we go. McLaren Elva. Here we have a Thunderslot, uh, let's say a standard Thunderslot chassis, Thunderslot pod, Sidewinder configuration. Um, we have a 28K NSR motor. That'd be the 28K Evo motor, I believe. And um, 11 tooth pinion, 33 tooth spur, 10 mil wide uh, NSR rear hubs, and NSR ultra grips on the back as well. Okay, good luck. many more clear paths to clean Glenn's tires so okay I'm 
satisfied they're clean. Very quick car. Clean the tires until they're totally clean. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Very smooth and quick. Whoop. That was a brain fart. My fault. Sorry, Glenn. feels like a magnet car where it'll suddenly just come off. I'll just tone it back a little bit. Ooh, doesn't like that right hand turn for some reason. Hmm. I have not come off much today. For some reason, I am right now. I'll blame fatigue. Yeah, it slides there for some reason. Yeah, it's like for some reason in that plant. There is an elevation change there. Hmm, strange. I'll just blame it on my fatigue. Okay, 6.748 seconds for Glenn. Great time. Sitting in third place. Yeah, kind of weird how it's... I just want to take a look here. Pot is on really stiff, so maybe with this elevation change here, it was riding on three wheels. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can see the outside front wheels off the road surface, so that'll cause it to lift. Yeah. When I push down on the front left fender, it lifts the right rear tire off. I think if the pod screws were a little looser, it would eliminate that problem. Okay. But it might just be me. Okay, my car, CGY Racer. Uh, Thunderslot uh, McLaren Custom Livery, number 10. I made these decals myself. I printed them out. Um, we have a something a little different I did here. It's a it's a slotted chassis from a Ford GT40. I cut up and installed new posts. And uh, yeah, thought I'd try something different. Um, CBD hubs in the back. I think they're 11 or 12 mil wide hubs. I think they're 12. Yeah, 
12 mil wide hubs with uh, NSR super grips. And a Shark 25K NSR motor sidewinder. CGY Racer 6.684 seconds. It definitely doesn't have the speed of um, some of the cars such as uh, Brumos or even um, Audi 1, definitely. Um, so yeah, second place there. So next up, the winner from race number one is uh, No Lakers. Let me just bring him up here, card 201. Like I said, the winner from race number one. Okay, here we go. Very custom car. Uh, no Lakers, he's out of uh, Sweden. And so I think there's two European cars in this proxy, Peter Gunn and No Lakers. Um, what have I got here? Okay, we have a low, it's a Lola T175. And the body match manufactures 201 slot cars. And I think that's his company. And the chassis is a 201 slot cars uh, Soft chassis, 3D printed, I believe. Yeah, looks like it's 3D printed. And just like the body, I believe, is 3D printed Race as well. Let me pause this. And uh, what do we got here? The pod, it's a soft 201 slot car soft pod. Really unique looking. He's got the pod right here, and then the body has got the cutouts. Or not the body, the chassis. Really unique. Another thing, too, is he was able to fit really wide. Looks like 13 mil wide tires. Vanquish style tires on the back. So he was able to get it nice and narrow with his unique uh, 3D chassis. Uh, rear wheels are G. Martins out of Europe, 
and they are 13 mil wide. And um, he's running NSR Ultra Grips for Vanquish Car, it looks like here. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Good luck. Like I said, the winner from race number one. Brumos is sitting in the pole position right now. hands full with this car. Let's see if he stays in the pole. Any bets? Okay, good luck. Final car. Five, four, three, two, one, go! It does break loose at the limit. quite suddenly. It's very smooth car, but you got to be a little bit careful. smooth um, just it has that tendency to just quite suddenly just break loose like just lose traction so I don't see any balls on his tires but um, yeah we'll see what how it does during the race but uh, looks like Brumos ended up in uh, first place first place qualifier and then we have no Lakers at 6.679 and then CGY Racers at 6.684. So three cars in the six sixes. Let me bring up the race results screen so you can see it a little better. Okay, here we go. So three cars, six sixes. Congrats, Brumos. And then Audi won. And GS No Pointer in the six sevens. And then uh, Starfighter Ace and Modern Slots, Stevie W. In places six through eight and the six eight range and in the six nine range we have uh, several cars here ninth place CJ 74 Big Doug Peter Gunn and ALS um, in 12th place ALS at 6.976 and then 13th position we have Thunderjet at 7.005, Redliner 14th, 7.007, and another two cars in the 7.0 range in 15th and 16th place, 73 AMG and VTEC 4. And then we have cars in the 7.1 range, Fly By Wire and Aloha. And then 7.2 range, Double B, Courtney, Pepsi, Mike K, and Super Slab in the 7.2 range, and then Weston's Garage 7.3. Uh, quite interesting, um, the second car I drove, CJ74, 
stayed in that uh, under seven second range and he qualified in the top 10. Okay, that's about it. And uh, this is gonna determine the grid positioning for the race that's gonna come up in a few days here. And that's it. That's, that was qualifying for race number two from Kelowna, British Columbia. Thank you. Bye-bye.